Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for September 6th. So, yeah, this message um, may or may not be for you. This is a message for somebody. It's not sign specific, and it's really not time specific, but I really feel as though for some reason this has to do with the six or very close to it. Okay, so we're just going to see what comes up. This is the daily vibe for the 6th of September. What do we got? The Seven of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Five of Swords. So, this is defensive, feeling like you're being attacked, wanting to protect yourself, needing to protect yourself, perhaps from Prince Charming. <laughs> Somebody could be dealing with Prince Charming. This guy is smooth as a baby's bottom. Smooth. Okay? So, we got this, 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 uh potential lover here who it, portrays himself to be Prince Charming, okay? But we have the Five of Swords here. This is uh, betrayal. This is conflict. Five of Swords is, is somebody that is very egotistical, somebody that has to win at all costs. They don't care who they hurt. So my advice with these first three cards is be careful. Be really, really careful. Somebody may have been loved bomb, love bombed. This is love bombed. Come to find out, they're dealing with a real jerk. Somebody that makes them walk on eggshells. Somebody that belittles them. Somebody that will not, you know, has to win. This person has to win. This person is always causing fights. This person, you know, they came in with a whole, they was, it was love bombing. That's what it was. But now there's a whole lot of need to protect. And when you protect, <laughs> you may get ganged up on. You may get ganged up on by the family members or the, their friends or whatever. No matter what, you can't win. And everybody sees this person as Prince Charming, because that's what he portrays himself to be. So, yikes. What do we got for the six? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. Come on now. The sun. Now yeah, we got somebody here that is not happy. They're up against a brick wall. They may feel like they're up against the brick wall and they need to find a way to break it. Somebody um, is in a situation where it started out really, really, really happy. But there's really no growth anymore. It's like they're not happy anymore. And there's a lot of conflict. There's a lot of uh, fighting, bickering. Um, we got somebody here. This person may see themselves as a victim or play that victim card, you know, and which causes the other person to <laughs> feel defeated. This person is like they're always causing conflict. They're always making you defend yourself. Like you've got to defend yourself constantly to this person who, <sighs> when they first met you, they seemed like they were <sighs> it. Okay. Oh my God. The Ten of Swords. We got that traitor again. So this is pain. This is somebody is feeling very, very, very betrayed here. Very betrayed. By somebody that they thought was going to bring them the ultimate happiness. My advice is protect yourself, stick up for yourself, defend yourself, please. Defend yourself before you get hurt even more. 
because this, you know, it's time to end this suffering. It's, you should be happy. You shouldn't be confined behind a brick wall. You shouldn't be stuck. You shouldn't be trapped. You should be happy. It's time to move on. It's time to take that passage. It's time to leave this troubled situation behind. There's some, something is not as it seems. Somebody has been dealing with a person that portrays themselves to be somebody that they are not. And I think that they're realizing it's, but now it's too late. Now they're stuck. Now, now they, it's like they got the whole world. It feels like the whole world is against them because this person is so manipulative. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be dealing with a Leo. Could, could be dealing with a Pisces. Could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I don't know. It feels as though we have somebody here that hasn't been telling the truth. They hid their they hid their truth self. They came through with a whole shitload of love bombing and now we got this person that is in crisis mode. It's like, "Oh my god. How did this happen?" Now there's a feeling of emptiness. A feeling of being incomplete. Of a lack of success. Th something didn't turn out to be successful because they were dealing with a real, you know, I hate to say the word, I don't like to use it, but this is like a narcissist. I'm sorry, but it, that's what it is. Somebody is dealing with a narcissist that really portrayed themselves to be the uh, epitome of happiness. And now they got this person walking on eggshells. Not only is this person walking on eggshells, but the person that they are dealing with has is is playing games. This person has competition. This person thrives on competition. This person loves it. This person is probably uh, talking to several other people. A three of coins. I rather there's there's. Uh, this isn't what they expect. This isn't what you expected or this, however this is, this is, was unexpected. Okay. It was unexpected. Now there's dashed expectations. It's like, Oh my God. Oh my God. This guy, this person has been playing me the whole time, but I feel as though somebody is, well, we got this still hidden though. It's, it's still hidden. Two of Cups. Yeah, there's a partnership that that is probably going to break up. It's going to break up. Okay, Two of Cups reversed. There's no real union here. There's no real working together. There's no real partnership. So I feel as though today, um, I just happened to look on the bottom. There is going to be an ending of a relationship that never really was. It's like the best man I never had man or woman. This is the end of a partnership that never really was. I'm sorry if this is your situation, but endings allow new beginnings. This is a release and a transformation. So we do have a new beginning after a release. After after dealing with some sort of hurtful situation, the Ten of Swords, this is the end of suffering. Somebody may leave without even saying goodbye. The world reversed. They just, you know what, I'm leaving and I'm not saying goodbye. And they don't say it. Obviously, they leave without saying goodbye. Because they can't play this game anymore. It's just time to go. This is the Six of Swords, okay? It's just time to go. I did a reading before this and I wasn't going to share it, but it's so similar that I am going to share them both. So that is what I have. Good, 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 good luck. <laughs> Sometimes I stutter, not very often. Should we get an Oracle card? Hey, why not? Why don't we? Oh, what do we want to use? Okay, I think I found it. Maybe that's why I was stuttering, because I wasn't done. <laughs>
That's probably what it was, too. That is exactly what it was. That was a yes, okay? So what do we got? What do we got for... One more card. One more card. Ooh! Phoenix Rising. Ain't that a good one? That is perfect. Oh, it opened right up to it, too. Holy shit. I did, too. Everything in your life is falling apart in order for you to rise from the ashes with renewed strength. This is not a time to create, but a time to sweep everything, sweep away everything that has not worked in your life. The reason so many things are breaking down and not going your way is because the old cycle of your life is completing you may feel that you are walking through the fires of life right now in order to be cleansed and purified for your rebirth. Soon you will not recognize yourself. You are reclaiming your spirit. If possible, try to isolate yourself from the chaos surrounding you. Now is the time for you to feel any pain that you have previously suppressed so that you can heal. The universe has plans and opportunities that are better than you can even imagine. So let go and trust and anticipate what is coming. And it's funny, at the beginning of the other reading I did for today, it says, the time is now. And I just read that. So these readings go together, but I'm not going to time together. I'm going to post them separately. So that is what we have. So somebody is basically dying to live again. So anyway, um, something is ending because it no longer suits your purpose. Okay? Um, don't fight it. Don't fight it. They have something better in mind. It's time to go. There's no need to be trapped. There's no need to, to fight. There's no need to have to defend yourself constantly. True love doesn't act like that. Good luck.